Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and another little video on the Yesu FTDX10. This is the answer questions I get all the time that I've seen over the last few weeks in the uh, chat in the uh, in the chat room, but also in the uh, comments sections and so on. Uh, I often like to answer uh, some of the questions in video form because it will actually uh, help a lot more people that will view the video and know what it's all about. So. The other question that came to mind for a lot of people is the AJC. It has the auto function, but it has fast, mid, and slow available in manual settings if you want. Of course, the question that came was, well, do you keep it in, you know, do you keep it in manual and automatic, or do you choose your bandwidth yourself, or how do you work? You know what? It will depend on what I listen to. Um, some signals that I'll listen to, like AM mode signals, for the most part I'll keep it automatic. It it decides by itself which one it is. Usually it's not too bad, it's, it's well chosen, but it's not always well chosen. So an example is here, for example, I'm listening to this Morse code here. Now, it's not very strong today, but sometimes it's stronger than that. I will often choose the slow mode automatically because the audio, the auto setting I have an impression is more like in the mid range. So sometimes I'll bypass, choose um, slow mode. Same thing for listening to some of the people, some of the hams, for example. If I uh, go and start listening to uh, arm operators, depending on. There we go. Depending on how they talk, depending on how strong the signal is, I might bypass the audio and go to slow. It will remove, because the slope is slower, it will remove some of the noise in the background that's more tiresome. It also helps in the digital noise reduction, because often the digital noise reduction won't have to cope with as much noise if you put it automatically in the slow mode. So it depends on what I'm listening to, honestly. Uh, sometimes it's automatic, but um, I found myself to bypass the automatic mode and choose my own um, slow, mid, or fast manually. Uh, but most of the time I notice that when I bypass the auto mode, it's because I want to choose slow. But, um, you know, it's nice to be able to actually choose the AGC uh, automatic gain yourself, though, because uh, a well-balanced and well-used automatic gain helps tremendously, tremendously when you're listening to signals. Yeah, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.